Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and for all you new subscribers and new YouTubers, my name is Stephanie. I am known as the Opinionated Horsewoman and I welcome you to my channel. So question of the day is, are you stinky? Do you stink? Be honest. You stink, don't you? Let's be real. We all stink, right? When it's hot out and we start to sweat, we stink right you kind of you right some people have stinky pits well i think we all do some people have stinky below the belt some people's feet we all have our own particular stink right most people for sure it's always stinky armpits so y'all know two weeks ago i think maybe three i ordered what you've all probably seen ads on youtube Lumi. So uh, I did my unboxing and I told you guys I was going to use it for a couple weeks and report back. So here I am. All right, let's first talk about Lumi. So what is it? It is a deodorant. It is not an antiperspirant. Okay. It is only a deodorant. All right. The only thing that is works as a pers uh, antiperspirant that I'm aware of is elements including um, aluminum, I think it's sulfate, but I might be wrong on that. Uh, so Lumi is a deodorant, okay? And what is a deodorant? Covers smells. Well, Lumi goes a step beyond that and they say that they eliminate the smells entirely by killing the bacteria. And how do they do that? They say they acidify your skin. Our skin is meant to be slightly acidic. Uh, we often end up with it to be slightly more towards neutral. So how do they do that? Their active and main ingredient, which they explain to you in their commercials, is a alpha hydroxy acid known as mandelic acid. It's a very, as far as all the alpha hydroxy acids, it's quite gentle, all right? Um, other examples of alpha hydroxy acids um, would be like lactic acid, all right? And lactic acid um, is used in facials, but it's a little bit more aggressive. So. Let's talk about uh, the Lumi system. They sell a number of products, all right? Uh, everybody knows about the deodorant, but they also sell uh, a newer product, which is a, um, it's to be used in the laundry on your stinky clothing. And then they also sell a body wash. So I ordered all of them and I've only gotten to use the um, deodorant or, or scrub or deodorizer, the laundry deodorizer. I've used it a few times, not enough to really report a ton back on it yet. Um, I do believe it works, but let's talk about the other elements. I did order their body wash. You see, it says it is a citified body wash. All right. So this one is in the scent cucumber melon, and I quite like that. So let's talk about this product. First thing is it does smell like cucumber melon and they do have other scents available. Um, when I ordered, they were out of some of the scents that I was interested in and I like cucumber melon. And so I ordered it. It smells like cucumber melon. Now, one thing about Lumi is I can smell the mandelic acid. And I did read a lot of the reviews on Lumi and a lot of people complained about they didn't think the scents were true like it was true cucumber melon well you're smelling the mandelic acid along with the fragrance in here okay because i got a variety of other scents and i can tell you i can smell the mandelic acid now can i identify it no if you've never smelled mandelic acid i it smells like mandelic acid whereas like lactic acid to me smells like spoiled milk. Why is that? Well, what's in milk? Lactose, lactic acid, lactose. They're all related. So for me, when I use a lactic acid peel, I smell that. I equate it to smelling kind of like spoiled milk. So mandelic acid, I can't really relate it to anything that you would say, oh, it smells like this. It smells like mandelic acid. And I do pick it up in the smell of all their scents. Um, I don't find it to be offensive at all. When I first um, started using it, I did obviously been using this, but I did use the deodorant in clean tangerine. Now to me, I smell the tangerine and I smell the mandelic acid. 
Some people probably don't like that. So that's the first thing I want to point out is you're not only going to smell the fragrance that they put in here. You're going to smell the mandelic acid if you have a nose that distinguishes scents. I find this to be quite pleasant. Now this is 8.5 ounces and it's not inexpensive. Um, I can get a Bolero body wash um, at the Dollar Tree for a dollar in the same size. This is, I believe, like $17 or $19. However, this, a little bit of this goes a long, long way. I find that I use three to four times as much of the Bolero body wash as I do of this. This suds up very nicely and goes a very, very long way. So, uh, I am impressed because I was concerned by the cost of this, but I this is almost full, you guys. I've been using this for a couple weeks and I've maybe used this much. <laughs> so it's quite full. Um, so I'm quite pleased with that. It did have a safety seal on it and um, I have not had any leaking problems, but I do keep it like this in my shower versus like this in my shower just to prevent any potential leaking problems because it is not cheap. All right, so let's get into the other types of deodorants. There is uh, the deodorant in a squeezy tube, and then there's a deodorant like you are used to seeing in the little like roll on under your armpits. So I have two examples of that. This is uh, Lumi in the squeezy tube. All right, and this can be used anywhere. It can be used in your underarms. It can be used in your privates. It can be used on your feet. It's very easy to apply because it'll apply like a lotion. Anywhere you can rub lotion, you can apply this, right? Very easy. Uh, it, it just is a squeeze tube. It literally comes out like a lotion. Um, it did have a safety seal on it, and that was very easily removed. I've had no issues with this leaking. It is thicker, like a thicker lotion, all right? It's quite a, a thick cream. So they do come in a lot of different uh, scents. This one is the Clean Tangerine. And this is three ounces. And I did start out using this with the body wash. So um, the reason why I have different scents is when I ordered, some of the scents were not available in certain products. For instance, the Clean Tangerine was not available in the body wash and the Cucumber Melon was not available in the squeezy tube. But I like um, the smell of tangerine. It's very nice, but I have to say personally, this tangerine smell, I smell the mandelic acid quite strongly uh, compared to other scents. So I do have a tube of their coconut crush. I have not opened it. So uh, of course I'm dropping things. That's what the safety seal looks like. I'm not going to open this. I'm not ready to use this because I'm currently using this one. Um, and then, like I said, they do have what I call like a roll on sort of, um, and I have that here in Jasmine Rose and I have been using this and I want you guys to notice this is vegan and cruelty free. These products all are. So this is Jasmine Rose. Now, like I said, they have at least six, I believe, fragrances and I wanted to utilize the Jasmine Rose, but they didn't have it in stock the first time I ordered. You guys, I actually did a second order. So this came in my second order and I wanna show you guys how the top is. It does come with a safety seal. I've already removed the safety seal. Um, let me see if I can get a little bit. That's what it looks like coming out. Can you guys see that? All right, that's the consistency. It's like a thick cream. Um, and I have also, ordered the lavender rose which to me i smell the lavender i don't smell the rose but i do smell the mandelic acid it doesn't bother me really so this one is a whole body deodorant they talk about using it on your pits your feet and your privates i think it would be a little bit more difficult to utilize this in those places than uh, a cream that you can pretty much spread anywhere but you know it's really a matter of of choice, right? However you want to use it, however, wherever you're putting it. Now, I do recommend if you decide you want to try this, definitely get the body wash, okay? And then your choice, 
however you choose to purchase it is entirely how you feel you're most comfortable using it probably depending on where you're going to use it and how you're going to use it right either one works really either one works so but i do feel it is key to utilize to start the process using the body wash okay i used the body wash for three to four days before i started introducing this okay so i used the body wash and then i used my normal antiperspirant slash deodorant okay once i feel like my i had gotten a good handle on acidifying my skin using the body wash i did start to utilize this now when i started you guys it was midweek i was at work i did not want to go a day and end up kind of being stinky at work because my body hadn't done the purge or the switch over so like i said i started with this but put on regular deodorant by the weekend i was switched to this i was using both of these and no longer using my regular deodorant so um i think as far as they talk about a purge or a cleanse or the switch over however you want to call it i think the number of days really depends on you and um you know your own body ph and i think it also relates to your diet uh, it also probably relates to any medications you're on, any medical conditions you might have. They all interrelate, okay? So I'm generally quite a healthy person. Uh, I generally eat keto. I have not been on my keto diet lately, so I am eating carbohydrates and sugars. So, um, you know, I, I guess I would call myself currently eating a more normal diet because I'm eating... Um, you know, breads and I'm eating fruits and things like that versus sticking more towards the high fat, low protein, uh, low carbohydrate, ketogenic diet. So, um, so the other thing I did want to make sure we talked about you guys is how to pick your scents. Um, you know, if you've used body washes that have fragrances, you might already have an idea of, of fragrances that work for you. But I would also say, think to um, when you purchase fragrances or perfumes, eau de toilettes at the store, what are the scents, the notes of the fragrances that uh, you're attracted to and look towards that. Um, I really like uh, fragrances that have jasmine in it and I love, actually love the jasmine rose. I really do. Um, I don't mind tangerine. Uh, I would not say that this is my first pick but it works and I'm happy to have it. I did get this, um, the Coconut Crush. I haven't tried it yet and I don't think I'll be able to smell it really through the safety seal. I can't sell it. smell it through the safety seal. It is nicely sealed, but um, you know, I did get kind of some of these on special. So what they do sell is these small little they're kind of meant to go in your gym bag or in a handbag or leave it in your car for travel purposes, take it on a trip with you. This is at 0.75 ounces or 22 grams. They do sell what I call like a sample pack, which is um, a bunch of these little tubes and all the fragrances. And that is how you can kind of try this and figure out what scents you are interested in if you want. Um, when I ordered, they had like, a special and these are kind of they came along with and i'm happy to do that because i put these in i got one of them in my purse and one of them in my work bag and then um i always have an emergency lumi with me if i need it so um i really do like the cucumber melon that's a preference some people don't like it i do think it smells really really nice you can kind of see the remnants of the safety seal on that one. I didn't peel it off. I just poked a small hole in it to kind of help prevent leaking because it is um, much runnier than the actual Lumi itself. So like I said, my suggestion is if you're going to try Lumi, include and start with the whole thing. Use the body wash and the deodorant okay because they go hand in hand in transferring and acidifying your body now let's talk about um, a number of you ladies have asked because you say your your man in your life is stinky in his under pits all right he really in my opinion you guys he should shave his armpits while he starts using this because all that armpit hair is harboring all that stinky bacteria now his armpit hair will grow back in you guys we all know as women we're constantly shaving our armpits because the hair grows so um 
you know, he, in my opinion, he needs to remove the hair to get this product down into the skin. Otherwise, he needs to use a more generous amount of this and really, really, really work it into the armpit hair um, and let it sit. I actually, when I go in the shower, I use my Bolero from the Dollar Tree and do an initial going over with that body wash just because generally when I am out on the farm, I have um, cut grass, um, hay debris on me, dirt from the dirt flying in the air. I kind of do an initial like just get the initial dirt grunge from the farm off and then I apply this to a washcloth. Um, and really it's it's about a, uh, a nickel to quarter size amount and that is it for the whole body because a little bit goes a long way like i said i'm very impressed with this how um little you need to use but if you're gonna be like a guy who doesn't want to just shave their armpits for the you know a week to just get the transition Use it more like a shampoo and then you guys, I let it sit on my body for a couple minutes before I rinse it off. Let that mandelic acid acidify my skin and actually work on that bacteria. So, um, uh, like I said, mandelic acid is quite a gentle acid, um, but just be aware, some people do have sensitivity. So, you know, you might buy this and really love it, but you might find out it doesn't work for you if you have an issue with mandelic acid. I do not. I've done all kinds of um, alpha and beta hydroxy acid peels and I don't have any issue. So that is a consideration. Um, and that's why you might want to just try the smaller sample sizes before. Now, I don't think they have the body wash in a sample size, unfortunately but they do have the deodorants in this smaller like i said it's 0.75 ounces um, i have not taken the safety seal off of these ones yet i just have them for uh, purposes in case i need to if i'm out and about so um, i have tried the lavender sage i really like it and i have tried the jasmine rose i believe this is going to be my favorite and i will probably uh, once I get rid of all the other strange smells, I will probably have this one as a, a staple scent. And I really actually quite enjoy the cucumber uh, melon. It's quite nice. And I would definitely order that as well. So that is my recommendation. That is my review of Lumi, you guys. Like I said, I did get the laundry spray. It is a fairly new product for Lumi. Uh, I have used it a handful of times on my uh, athletic wear. I wear running. And what you do is you saturate the areas that um, are the stinky areas, which would be like your armpits. Depends on if you're doing shirts or socks or underwear. You would saturate the area. They suggest maybe using a scrub brush to get it into the seams and really get it nice and wet. And then they say to kind of ball it up and let it sit for at least 30 minutes because you're letting that mandelic acid work into the fabric. They do say that it's generally fabric safe. Um, I've had no issues using it on any of the athletic fabrics I've used. Uh, anywhere from polyester to like a poly cotton blend. I've really had no issues with staining or bleaching or any issues whatsoever. So I do believe it actually does help take the stink out. So I haven't used it enough to really give it a definitive review, but so far I've really enjoyed it. Um, I'm not entirely sure that it is going to be thoroughly worth the expense because you do need to use kind of a lot of it uh, and it is kind of expensive. So that is kind of my holdout question right now is to whether the benefits outweigh um, the cost because once you kind of start using the Lumi, you're not gonna be getting your clothing st as stinky really, in theory, as you used to. So um, my final thoughts on this, I would say that by the end of the first weekend, I felt like I really wasn't stinky at all. And I went running this last weekend with a friend of mine and it was quite warm out and we were both soaking wet with sweat and she smelled really awful. And I said, smell me. <laughs> And she thought I was crazy, but like a good friend, she took one for the team and she smelled my armpits and she says, I don't smell anything. I said, well, do you smell? And she went like this. She went, oh, I smell terrible. I said, smell me again. And she smelled me again. She goes, I don't smell anything other than maybe like a perfumey smell. And I said, you're smelling the Lumi and not me. So 
that to me says it works. I do think that you need to keep up with this. If you go a couple days and you don't use this, I do believe you're going to start switching back over to producing the bacteria on your skin and the odor will come back. But I think if you use this on a, on a regular basis, as I throw the cap across the room, I, I think once you've made the switch over, I, I, you guys, I just, I don't smell and I'm thrilled. And this last weekend I was outside, it was extremely hot. I was extremely sweaty and I did not smell. So final thought, you don't just do, if you're doing, I'm just going to use the armpits as an example. I'll use this one. You don't just do a small area. You have to kind of cover that whole area. So uh, all the way down and around, give it a wide area because you don't just sweat in one tiny spot. You kind of sweat all over here. And that's that area where the bacteria are harbored because when you put your hand down, that whole area is skin on skin or skin on fabric on fabric on skin. So you do need to use it in a broad area, okay? Uh, women, you might need to use it under the breasts um, along your, like what would be your bra line or, or tucked up under the breasts as well. Um, they do recommend you can use it uh, on your private parts, not inside, outside. Uh, and then you can use it on your feet as well. So uh, you guys, I have to say two thumbs up. All right. Let me know down below in the comments if you have questions. I am happy to answer um, what I can answer. Okay. I would love to love to answer it. I know a number of you have asked about it for your husbands. Like I said, if you can get him to shave his armpits, I recommend that. Otherwise, he's going to need to use a little bit more and really kind of use it like a shampoo and then let it sit for three to five minutes in the shower before he rinses it off. That will absolutely kickstart getting rid of that stench. Okay. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking this out. Like I said, let me know if you have questions. If you're new here, please subscribe. And everybody, I would really appreciate it if you give this a thumbs up, share this with your friends, that would be great. And as I always like to say, if you are, as many people are, struggling in this year, uh, in the last two years, really, um, things have really changed in the world. And if you are feeling some dark thoughts and contemplating some um, dark thoughts and doing some dark things, before you do anything, I ask you to please talk to someone, okay? If you can talk to somebody that you know and trust, I think that's amazing. It can be anybody in your world that you know and trust. Ask them to help you. Tell them what you're thinking, what you're going through, and tell them you need help, okay? Even if they can't help you personally, they can help you find the resources that you need to get the help you need. And if you do not want to talk to anybody you know that you're embarrassed or afraid to talk to people you know, please, reach out to these people right here. They are available here in the U.S. 24 hours a day, seven days a week to talk to you and to help get you help. All right. No judgment. They're judgment free. They are just wanting to help you. All right. If they cannot help you directly, they will find the resources that you need to get the help you need. Okay. But please remember you are special. You are unique. You are the only one of you on this planet, this great planet we call Mother Earth. You are the only one of you, all right? There's nobody like you. And the world is a better place with you in it. Please don't ever forget how amazing you truly are. All right, thanks guys. I appreciate you watching this. Like I said, leave me a comment, hit that subscribe, and uh, I will see you on my next video. Bye everybody.